Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a few more Clan War League attacks. But first, I'm going to show you that we promoted to Master League 2. We just barely won. And we needed to win against Madhouse Co, which luckily their number 7 player didn't attack at all. I'll show you there. And the other thing we needed to happen as well was we needed CTG Royal Kings to lose to... DK Pulsers 2 by percentage since they both had the same number of stars so we need both those things to happen in order for us to promote which is not too bad so I'll show you my first attack here now so this attack here we were using a Electro Giant or Electro Electro Titan attack. It's a fairly easy one to use. You just funnel one side of Baby Dragon and the other side of the Warden Walk. You use some balloons to test for some seeking air bombs. There you go. You see them there. And once both sides are funneled, you can just send them all in. All Electro Titans. I nice scroll in the tank. And then the king and queen are behind them. A few more test balloons for any more seeking air mines. For these attacks though, you kind of want to rage the healers over the Electro Titans. Since um, if the healers die, the attack is pretty much over. And the Electric Aura going around the Electro Titans too. Is not affected by the rage spell, so the yeah, electric titans already do a lot of damage anyway. So we might as well just try rage the healers if we can, just keep them healing the electric titans. And they're pretty good against bases that are fairly open as well, like this one. It's not too many compartments. Only like two jump spells pretty much gave access to most of the base anyway. And from there, it's really just clean up. Times two. Just basically for this attack, just funnel two sides of the base, break in, keep the healers alive, raging them and whatnot. Don't really have to rage the Electro Titans, just rage the healers, and you should be good, hopefully. It's a guaranteed pretty much two star anyway, unless it's a ring base. And then the second attack I'll show you is in War 6. Base this is my favourite attack strategy at the moment. It's the dragons with a super archer blimp. I noticed in the centre of the base there was a gap here by the statue. So I send in the balloon test for seeking air mine, lava hand the tank. And then for the blimp here then... When it goes down, you need to activate the invisibility spell immediately so they don't die. Rage, two clone spells. And you want to invisibility spell every four seconds. That's how long they usually take. Keep them all alive. Just keep invising them. They'll take out a lot of the core defenses. Pretty much like a quarter of the base is gone and most of them are defensive so there's not a whole lot left really. Town Hall didn't go down, that's fine, let's get it after. I score the tank up here with the king and queen in behind, champion to get to Town Hall. Dragons over here with the warden in behind as well, and a few balloons. And then from there, there is really not much else I can take out my army. These defenses here get taken out by the heroes as well. The Inferno, Expo, and Scatter Shot. And there's nothing down here that can take out all those dragons. Even though it's our uh, champion and those Expos and lose nothing. All those times too, really. It's just clean up from here. The base is just dead. 
any base that has a gap like that is just susceptible to this attack. Especially if the core of the base is very clustered like it was a lot of just defenses in, this, in the, around the same area. That's it. It's a fairly easy attack strategy once you get the clone spells down and the invisibilities. Alright, that's pretty much all the attacks I have for you today anyway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again.